Um, I do, like, at some point I would like to get Xbox Series X uh, and buy, like, a 360 version of this game just to be able to play this game without having lag. Because, like, similar to, like, how Banjo-Tooie um, having no lag for that game felt like a distant dream, that's kind of the same way with this game. Like, just imagining this game with, like, smooth like smooth frame rate, no dips in, fr like, no dips in that, and just... How do I, like, use a shield again? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how to play this game. Um, it's been a while. But yeah, uh... Yeah, I, I, I would love to play this game with no, with no frame dips in the future. Like, that would be so cool. Anyways, though, um... Chunan on the HD one. Um, now, on the... On the things that this game obviously does better, like, obviously this looks a lot nicer, There's the colours pop out more, all that good stuff. Um, now, I will say that the Wii version does edge it out in terms of, um, in terms of visuals in one aspect. Um, and that is, remember the, um, the bridge segment at the start of the third stage in the Wii one? Um, this version doesn't really have anything that comes close to that kind of that kind of uh, spectacle um like you don't see a uh, like the great wall on in the distance and there's like all these like you can see all the fire in the distance and how it lights up everything up you don't get that stuff unfortunately so the wii version does edge it out in that one aspect but in terms of everything else like yeah this looks a lot better um like there's more color obviously there's more um details there's more um just lighting going around everywhere and it generally like every every stage just looks really incredible in this game so it's kind of i'm kind of just repeating myself but hey it looks good what else can i say um yeah i will say this is probably one of the weaker night stages in this game in particular purely, purely for the fact and i mentioned this in the wii one um, I feel like it's a bit messy, um, like, I feel like it's too short, like, I feel like it doesn't spend enough time in the specific, like, doing a specific thing, um, so it doesn't have enough time for one area or set piece to, um, really stick the landing enough, I feel, um, so yeah, it, it's definitely one of the weaker in terms of that, because I feel like a lot of the others do a much better job at fleshing out its ideas and um, having, like, giving it, giving the level enough room to breathe so it's not like, it doesn't feel like it's do it like chewing on too much at once, but at the same time, it doesn't last that long in general. So it feels like it's one of those things where, like, it's doing too much and too, and not enough at the same time, like I mentioned before. And I feel like if this level is a bit longer, um, it would probably fix a lot of things, um, especially since this is one of the shorter levels in the game, to be honest. Um, so I feel like lengthening this stage a bit, so, like, I don't know, maybe the, the, you can do, like, platforming on, like, bridges and stuff, and that can be, like, a couple minutes uh, of platforming or what have you. Um, that, I feel like something like that could, could have gone gone fairly well um because as it stands i feel like like i said i feel like this stage is a bit too basic for this point in the game um and i that was a weird sound i just made i don't know what the hell that was <laughs> um but yeah i i do feel like most of the stages with the werehog are more complex than people make them out to be and even as past me i have said before i again they these aren't like level like masterclass in game design or anything like that uh but i do feel that there's a lot more going on than people give them credit for um especially in some of the layer stages um and um you know 
I, I feel like this is just one of the weaker ones. Like, I feel like there's not enough going on here. Um, and especially for how... I mean, we this is up going up to the second guy, I guess. So it's not that far into the game. But I feel like for this version specifically, this is like night stage, like the fourth night stage, I think. Um, I feel like at that point you expect a bit more... Um, I don't know, what, what, what do I want to call it, like, a bit more complexity, I guess, which we will get, um, in some of the later ones, but I feel like, well, this one isn't, I, I don't know, I don't ha dislike this stage, I don't really dislike any of the stages in this game, personally, but I do feel like, yeah, I do feel like this could have been a lot more interesting, um, I feel like there's just not, not enough done here. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a bit scary though. Also, like, I like this, like, they show this waterfall, or like this, uh, this cliff with all the water going down, um, and when I saw that, I die. <laughs> uh, when I saw that, um, I thought, oh, cool, we're gonna have to get all the things again, damn it, damn it. Um, I think I think I do. I, I don't even know. I don't even know if I should. I need to even be doing this. Oh, that is sick. <laughs> Let me try that again. Sorry, I'm, I'm just kind of trying to experiment a little bit right now. Oh yeah, we, uh, one other thing, like, we, we did, um, end up getting a bunch of XP from just, what is it, buying up, or getting a bunch of the hot dogs from the hot dog missions and whatnot, so, yeah, we should be able to, like, get a lot of level, level ups out of this, uh, stage, because I do prefer, um, upgrading Sonic, like, after a stage and not in the middle of one. God, look at that, that's so sick. <laughs> okay, and that should be all of that. Yep. Yeah, this version definitely expects you to, um... Okay, I did... It does save that. Okay. So, I... Didn't need to go back for this, I think. No, either way. I probably missed that. Yeah, I probably missed that medal then. So I know that there's apparently like, a, a way to like attack out of a shield. I guess I don't have it yet, or I just don't know how to do it. Because I've seen someone like attack out of a shield and like repeat, like repeat that. I don't know how you do that. But either way, let's take care of these guys. And somehow that guy takes no damage, so that was weird. Um, yeah, yeah. Good stuff all around. I should be fine with this, right? Yep. God, it's been, yeah, I, God, just trying to remember all this stuff. Okay. Let's get electric grid for good measure. Yeah, all these guys die. Ugh, jeez. Yeah, um, okay, so, okay, let me just get past this first. 
that's um, a lot scarier than I remember. Uh, but yeah, uh, like if if that segment were like was more like the uh, Wii version's like climbing up the waterfall segment, that would be a lot more. That that would be a lot more fun in my opinion. Like if you had to go up there for a medal in, instead of just having it on the platform. I feel like that would have been a lot more interesting. Um, but hey. It's all good. We are coming up to the one part of the stage that is really cool though. I feel like there's a thing here, right? No? I swear to god there's like a medal underneath a grabbable ledge. Yeah, if you um, grab one to these guys, um, you get two medals. Oh, you, you get on here anyway. Yeah, you can grab onto this. And this is the coolest part of this version. In, uh, <laughs> not the whole game, but like, this stage, rather. Um, you can go through all these th different areas and fight all these enemies. Or you can just go on the dragon and, um... Just go through this massive shortcut and get a few more medals and whatnot. And this is one part of the stage of this uh, of this version stage that I do like more because in the Wii version it was basically just a straight shot, and the only shortcut that to really speak of is that one in the third stage. And got these bustles allowed. Um, is that one shortcut in the third stage where if you um jump up the to the top of the building um you can skip a whole like fighting segment and um yeah in, in this in this version you can like similar to that you go to an upper area and you skip a bunch of fighting um but i, I do feel like in this version it is more rewarding because like it's a more elaborate pathway and there's more like there's more going on there's more obstacles to well there's obstacles period whereas in the wii one you just go up a building drop down and you just skip an area period and now then that's basically it whereas um the one here what is going on with your animations dude that's really funky looking okay, let's uh okay i guess we aren't gonna do your thing Let me do a thing. Also, I could have just electrocuted all these guys are I just remembered, but it's fine. It's not like though we're in much danger. Cause um yeah, I yeah. It has been a while since I played through this game like fully, so I don't remember everything. Okay, we what what um you probably should do is um just grab this guy and then throw it over there and si yeah and since that whole place is like or like over like water like the water's like going through and everything like everything everyone gets electrocuted and they just die immediately so that's what you should do yeah Kill him because reasons. And believe it or not, that's the end of the stage. Yeah, this is why I mean, <laughs> this is why I say that this is a bit too short. Now there is a like, pretty tricky jump you have to make to get like a medal or two, but yeah, besides that, like that's pretty much it. And again, I feel like this stage could have been a lot more interesting if they just extended it a bit more. Um, which is funny because one of the DLC stages, I believe, is exactly that. It just... Oh, hey. Uh, good thing I didn't miss that. I missed one Moon Medal, though, so that kind of sucks. Is this here somewhere? I didn't see it. Yeah, well, we are going for 100%, so it's fine. But... Oh, good. Yeah, it... One of the DLC stages does exactly that. Um, like it extends the level far beyond where where this ends, and 
I'm really looking forward to that because a lot of the DLC stages, I feel like, are basically 10 times more interesting than the regular, like, stages. Um, because, like, they get really creative with the level design. Um, and I feel like... I, I feel like the idea is that they know they feel like at that point you're probably going to be max leveled or at the very least very close to it so they can get away with like all these more difficult challenges all these tougher enemies and still have it not feel unfair because like you should be max leveled at that point like you're not going to go into the dlc with a naked werehog like that <laughs> that's just asking for problems so uh, yeah just level up Ev everything is balanced make make it make everything as balanced as possible um just upgrade speed a little bit and it will be good huh <sighs> Yeah, boy, frame rate. <laughs> All right. And now we have our first um, uh, boss, the Werehog, or like major boss, I, I should say. And we have the Dark Guy Phoenix. Um, now these, um, the Welcome Bosses are kind of interesting in the fact that um, they're more puzzle based than anything. Um, there is one later on that is more of a trap roll, but yeah, this is a, a bit more puzzle based. So basically, what you want to do is just grab them, uh, go, go onto these platforms, uh, and just kind of hit this guy with the water barrel. And he'll just go to the middle, I believe. Yeah, in, the, in this version, he goes into the middle. In the other, in the HD one, he goes everywhere else, basically. But you just kind of well on this guy for a little bit until this happens. Uh, oh wait, this is this is actually really bad because I can't tell what the button prompts are. He just kind of looks at the camera <laughs> awkwardly. So this is going to be a problem. Because uh, I don't know what burns or what. Um, so like he he has three different animations depending on like how good you did that you did the uh, uh, quirk time event, um, and that's essentially what this boss is. Like it's an okay boss. I feel like it's better in the HD one because there's a bit more going on, but. Yeah, this is fine. Like, it's not, it's nothing great or terrible. It's just kind of there. Um, I like the idea. I, I like the whole Dark Guy Phoenix as a concept, though. That's, that's pretty neat. But as a boss, it's um, serviceable. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. <laughs> Do. I swear to god I'm not doing this on purpose. Like, the barn prompts are just wrong. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, I guess one other thing to mention is that um, the uh, HD, HD version has three separate health bars, whereas this one has one unified health bar, which is... It doesn't really mean much, because he still takes, like, three quick time event things to kill, but it's... Something I get. How did he not take damage? Come on. That's a thing, I guess. I guess he's like invulnerable sometimes. Like, I have no idea. So like, when he starts charging up is when you hit him, I guess. Yeah, and every time it takes one more hit. Um, yeah, I, I, I swear to God, like, I'm pretty sure the control set setting should be set to classic controller. It shouldn't be doing this weird GameCube controller crap. 
don't know why it's doing that. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to dwell on him a bit more. That's kind of the, kind of lame because see, you get if you get the the um thing right, um, you um slam this this guy into the ground like. <laughs> Like it's nothing. It's great. Can you like? Okay. Why you gotta be in a in the opposite area? Yeah. It, thank God, like it takes like ten years to charge his move. And this camera's pretty good. <laughs> Okay, this should just, yeah, this should do it. It should still be an S rank, funnily enough. Because again, it's uh, pretty generous. Yep. That's a really lame way to kill this boss, but I, eh. It happens. Yeah! Yeah, flowing in midair! What the hell? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah I, yeah, I almost didn't get it, but hey, yeah, we're fine. And unleashed level three, nice. So this is interesting. Um, it, this is one of the an instance of um, like a, the Wii version, flat out skipping out on a cutscene, um, and it just has this uh, text dialogue instead. Um, and uh, yeah, it, <laughs> this is a random difference. But yeah, uh, cut to the HD version of the boss, I guess. Because, um, yeah, I'm just going to talk about all this stuff. Blah, blah, blah. So this is w really weird, because the, the, as you've seen before, the Egg Beetle fight, the, st the uh, star tablets are to get to the boss. Um, it's really weird in this case, because... We just fought the boss, um, so the you never really have to activate the uh, star the star door for Chunan, um, unless you want to refight the boss or something. Uh, even then, I think you can just go to the stage select to do that. So it's kind of pointless. I that's a really weird uh, thing they did uh, with this. I I I don't <laughs> I don't get it, but yeah. Okay, this is probably a really weird transition, but, uh, oh god, this frame rate. <laughs> the way this game works me makes it so I kind, I'm kind of forced to, um, what is it? I'm kind of forced to, like, pause the game, switch to the Wii version, and just have it, like, be stuck on that. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit weird. Um, yeah, this is the Dark Guy Phoenix on this version. Um, he's a... A fair bit more aggressive here, like he does, I feel like he does the shockwave move a lot more, the platforms have more, like, they have different sizes instead of all being the same. There's medals to get, like, every boss level has medals that you want to go and get. I generally recommend just going for them right away, before fighting the boss in, like, itself. Um, sometimes you can get away with just, like, ignoring, like, yeah, that's the best way to do it. But yeah, you can um, you can get the medals as you're fighting the boss, um, but it's generally better to just do that stuff right away, like get it out of the way. But yeah, just be on it, be on him, on him. And uh, now that I have, I'm using a, a controller that has the right button button prompts. I can do the quick the QTEs as intended and do a random swipe because reasons. And just destroy that tower, why don't you? But other than that, though, this is basically the same boss. Um, it's a bit more rewarding because you can do stuff like that, which the Wii version just never allows you to do. So it's a, it does have, like get a slight edge, um, and he doesn't take like ten years to charge up a move. So you, and like they home in a lot better. Um, so yeah, this is a fairly decent upgrade from the, the Wii version. Um, but that being said, the general concept of the boss is still the same, and the general idea of the boss, while not 
awful by any means, it's still not the most exciting idea. So just by default, it's kind of just alright. Um, I feel like I feel like if you um, if this is more of a I don't, I don't even know I don't even know like if a normal brawl kind of boss would work for this, but I feel like the Werehog in general could have used bosses that were more just trap fights that make you ex like make your experiment more more of your combat, um, such like your combos and all that good stuff. I feel like that would have been a lot better. Because these bosses, while fu like fun in their own right, they don't really test your knowledge of the combat system that much at all. Um, so I, I, I feel like these could have been a lot more interesting. As it stands, they're more puzzle based. Um, and I feel like... I, I don't know, I feel like it, in another game, I feel like that would have worked better. Um, but for a game that had, for a playstyle that's more beat em up focused, I feel like this wasn't the best uh, route to take. I feel like they could have done something way more interesting, um, personally. Not that I dis- I don't necessarily dislike this, like, this is a fun enough boss, but I- Again, I just feel like they could have done something more exciting. But, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's... It is what it is. It's not the worst thing in the world. I can... I can live. Yeah, let's finish this off. And... And slam into the ground. Yeah, boy. Strike three, man. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it cut out there, but that's that's weird. <laughs> God, this frame rate. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's the end of that. And this is the cutscene I was talking about that is just absent in the Wii for some reason. I don't really, I don't really get why. Like, it doesn't really change that much. And now we enter the temple and uh, restore our second uh, area. Oh. Red Emerald. Hooray. <laughs> yeah, I. This is one of those things where, like, if the planet like went back into place that fast, like, it would cause a lot of problems. <laughs> oh god. Hey. Senses. I see. I'll bet your job is to, to guard the Chaos Emerald Temple. You must have gone berserk when the emeralds lost their power. And of course we're gonna have this. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're back. Want some chocolate? Yeah, don't even <laughs> don't even question it at this point.
I'm just gonna chill with this chocolate up here, don't mind me. <laughs> that is a good shot though. I, I like just seeing the nice guy. Port this game to PC! <laughs> oh god.